Good afternoon, everyone. It is a very rainy day here in Bellingham, Washington. It has been pouring all day. <clears throat> and I was sitting down getting ready to rehearse for the online concert I ha I'm going to do for Orca Month on Sunday. And I realized, why don't I just do an online concert of my rehearsal <laughs> and see how this thing works. So I've got my glasses on, I'm checking it all out. Because I've done some, uh, some one-offs uh, where I sing a song and tell a story and that's it. But I'm gonna try to do a number of songs and I'm even going to try to read the screen should anyone <clears throat> respond. I should introduce myself. My name is Dana Lyons, and I am rehearsing for a concert on this Sunday, June 14th, for Orca Month, which will be live at 4 p.m. Seattle time. And you can do the uh, <clears throat> transfigurations to your time zone. But I'll uh, start out with a song, and we'll see what happens. We're curious when we're very small So excited by the beauty of it all We turn our faces up just to feel the rain We're feeling that, we're feeling that love song to Jane I see the gentle courage in your eyes Walking out alone into the wilds Risking love is also risking pain we're risking that, we're risking that love song to Jane. And the only way that you can save your friends is a trip around the world that never ends. And you teach us every day as you urge us on our way keep living that keep living that love song to jane dragonflies and frogs and mice and skits watching lion kittens as they play Africa is waiting for the rain Waiting for, waiting for that love song to Jane A hundred years from now we will see The elephants, giraffes and chimpanzees And our great-granddaughters turn their faces up to the rain They'll be singing that, they'll be singing that love song to Jane And the only way for you to save your friends Is a trip around the world that never ends And you teach us every day As you urge us on our way Keep living that, keep 
living that love song to Jane. And you teach us every day as you urge us on our way. Keep living that, keep living that love song to Jane. Keep risking that, keep risking that love song to Jane. Keep singing that, keep singing that love song to Jane. Check my tuning. Again, uh, my name is Dana Lyons, and I am <clears throat> just doing a rehearsal for an online concert I have coming up <clears throat> on Sunday, this Sunday, June 14th. First time tuning on an online concert, um, learning how to banter with the audience, which I can't see, <clears throat> while I tune. All very important. It's a big learning curve, figuring this stuff out, live streaming, everything on this uh, pandemic is a big learning curve. Ah, oh, I see how... And Jessica said hello. See you out there. Where are you watching from, Hal and Jessica? <clears throat> and if you have any requests, uh, feel free to make them. I am, I am practicing. I am learning how to do this. <clears throat> Again, practicing for my online. Oh, there's Pat. Still have the Parker. I do still have the Parker, Pat. <laughs> Um, I haven't played it for a long time. That's my uh, concert guitar. Uh, Pat is asking about the, my Parker Fly, <clears throat> which is my thin, really cool-looking guitar that I use in live concerts, live in-person concerts. This guitar sounds much better. Hello from Sweden. Oh, my God. Hi, Matt's in Sweden. Toledo, Ohio. Hal, okay, Hal, now I got the right Hal. In Toledo, how are you doing, Hal? And welcome to Matt's from Sweden. I've been thinking a lot about Sweden, how your experiment with the pandemic is going there. I've been watching it, very curious. There's, uh, there's Jessica, Hal's already there, okay. Folks from Toledo, <laughs> there's I don't even know how to say that. Wow me, Ohio, wow me, Ohio, okay. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what the weather's like in Ohio or Sweden. Oh, there's Ronnie from Spartansburg, South Carolina, okay. This is this is going live. That's good. That's good to know. I'm uh, I'm rehearsing right now, trying to learn how to do this because I have a official online concert at 4 p.m. Seattle time. I think that's uh, 7 p.m. Seattle time on Sunday for Ohio. Mike Melton. It is very damp in Washington State. Very very damp. It's a good day to be sitting sitting inside, uh, <clears throat> singing to all you out there in quarantine land. Pat Gleason requests. How about Salish Sea? Pat, that is exactly the song I need to practice because I'm going to be singing that on Sunday because Sunday I'm doing an Orca Month concert, Sunday, June 14th, live Seattle time at four different time zones. So here is the Salish Sea. And this is a song written from the perspective of Granny who passed away when she was 104 years old. Granny was the matriarch of the resident orcas, the killer whales, that live here in the Salish Sea, here in Bellingham and British Columbia. <clears throat> the Salish Sea is a relatively new name for this area. I think it was renamed in 2011, 2012, but that's where the orcas live. So I'll sing this song, and oh, here, I'm gonna practice before I sing this song. Can I, can't post comments to some the, the, so the, so the, so I say show. Ah, there it is, I can actually do this. Pat requests, how about Salish Sea? Checking in from the never ending, never visited county of Kitsap. <laughs> is 
Is that a county? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so I'm learning how to do that. <clears throat> At some point, I want to... I think there's a way I can create little things like that uh, uh, where I can like create a thing down there that says applause or cheering or incredible response from the audience. That way I can fantasize about what's going on out there. Oh, that's, oh, better get the tissues. This song always brings tear to the eyes. Yes, uh, it often brings tears to the eyes for me, <clears throat> which is a bit of a hassle, <clears throat> especially if I'm performing, because I, I start getting choked up and I think, wait a minute, I have to deliver on this. So anyway, wish me luck. Here it is, the Great Sailor Sea. Pick up my mouse. Live here in rainy Bellingham from the Sailor Sea. After I do the song, I'll go back and see what other comments are on the board. <clears throat> I'll dedicate this to my friend Stephanie Buffum, who is the executive director of the Friends of the San Juan Islands. And uh, Stephanie uh, suggested the storyline for the song. It's been incredible. Incredible song. I've had a lot of joy with it. <laughs> We will swim a thousand miles to reach the shores of emerald isles with salmon spawning by the million, herring spawning by the billion, gather with our pods again. Uh, the summer food, the summer friends To raise our babies safe and free We gather in the Salish Sea Oh, hush, hear the swish of the boats on the water The hollowed out cedars, the sons and the daughters The rhythm of paddles caressing the water The rhythm of paddles to come greet the orca Remember the legend, the myth and the story a long time ago when we witnessed the glory with thousands and thousands of whales swimming free and the orcas come home to the great salish sea I hear your song for many miles Your distant thoughts, your distant smiles Today we fish in different bays Tonight we meet again to play Oh, hush, hear the swish the boats on the water, the great sailing ships with the sons and the daughters, the wind and the wood as it cuts through the water, the wind and the wood sailing out to the orca. Remember the legend, the myth and the story a long time ago when we witnessed the glory with thousands and thousands of whales swimming free the orcas come home to the great sailor's sea One hundred times around the sun I saw the slaughter, smelled the blood The water turning blue to brown The metal ships, the screaming sound I cannot hear your song today the salmon gone, the herring late And more and more the ships do come Will anybody
baby, hear my song Oh, hush, hear the scream of the ships on the water The great super tankers, the coal ports, the freighters The deafening noise overcoming the water The deafening noise overtaking the orca Remember the legend then the story a long time ago when we witnessed the glory with thousands and thousands of whales swimming free the orcas come home to the great salish sea oh hush hear the voice from both sides of the border the rallies the blockades the brave sons and daughters the people speak out for protecting the water the people are rising to come save the orca Thank you. Thank you. This is where I need my little applause thing there. I got to design that. <laughs> uh, that's called the Great Salish Sea. And uh, that is about our resident orcas, which who are endangered here. There are, I believe, 72 of them left. And June is de dedicated uh, Orca Month in the state of Washington and the province of British Columbia in Canada, and I believe in the state of Oregon also, because our resident orcas go down and hang out in the Columbia River in Oregon uh, during part of the winter, because that's where the salmon are. <clears throat> but we're, uh, we're working to try to protect the habitat, and bring back the salmon so the orcas can live, and that's what Orca Month is all about. And what I'm doing right now is I'm actually rehearsing, <clears throat> I'm practicing, I'm learning how to do a live stream concert, getting ready for my Orca Month concert on Sunday, June 14th. And there's another one on Sunday, June 28th. And this concert will be broadcast live on my music Facebook page, not my personal page, because it's going out to a bunch of different Orca groups, include, um, so I won't have room for my personal page. So. If you're not following on my, you know, if you search Dana Lyons music on Facebook, that's how you can get that page and you can watch live on that or see it archived on my YouTube page, which is the Cows with Guns guy page. But let's see if we have any more comments here. Um, let's see. Dun, dun, dun. What's going on here? That's why. That's This is why I'm practicing. <laughs> That this is how we learn. Ah, great to see you live. Remember your time in Dublin when the cows had guns. Oh my God, Hi. Nat. Oh, Nat, how are you? <laughs> oh, um, <clears throat> bonjour, bonjour, Natalie. I can't believe it. I have not talked to Natalie in since two thousand and four. That that's a long time. Oh my God. Yes, yeah, that's that, so. This is a good time. It's funny. I'm choosing what time to perform and it's 1 30 in the afternoon here in Bellingham so I'm guessing in Dublin that means it's 8 30 at night so this is a good time of day to broadcast to Europe and when I'm singing at night it's the middle of the night for for me okay Natalie we'll have to I don't know if we're friends on Facebook but make sure we are so I can say hi <laughs> so I can say hi it's great to see you um yep right <clears throat> there she is Oh my God! Yeah, I, when uh, Cows with Guns uh, came out, it was a hit in Ireland in 2004, and I had an injury when it was a hit in uh, Australia in 1998, so I didn't get to go enjoy that. So the second was a hit in Ireland. I just bought a ticket to Ireland. I didn't even have any gigs in Ireland. <clears throat> and I flew there. I thought, okay, I'm just going to go have some fun with this. And I remember I went on uh, a radio show, <clears throat> a BBC 
uh, up in, uh, <clears throat> in, in, in Derry, BBC Derry, and it was uh, Anderson, uh, spacing on his first name. Uh, <clears throat> ah, I can't get it. Um, so this is where I have to have my other computer here. That's why I'm rehearsing this right now, so I can figure this out. But anyway, uh, he, he was a great uh, DJ, the most famous DJ, up in Northern Ireland, and I got up there, and uh, he interviewed me because Cows with Guns was a hit, and it was my, my first time <clears throat> up in Derry. And he says, so Dana, you have a hit here in Ireland. Are you doing any shows? And I said, well, actually, I just flew here. <laughs> and uh, I don't have any shows. And he said, this is you know, it's going out live to the whole country. And he says, well, you heard that, people. The Cows with Guns singer is here in Ireland and needs some gigs. So call this number here at the BBC if you want to book some gigs. And I got 10 gigs just from that. It was so awesome. So my friend Natalie, who I haven't seen from uh, since 2004, just said hello. But hopefully I'll get to say hi more to her when I'm off the air on uh, Facebook. Okay, now I'm getting... Uh, <clears throat> see, this is, this is why I'm rehearsing. So when I perform, I, I get warm. And often, about two songs into the show... I lose a layer. It's kind of like hiking. Is it? It's cold. It's cold. It's not summer here. I know my friends in California are swimming. We are not swimming in Bellingham. Bellingham is in Washington State, but it's really like southern Alaska. <clears throat> so it's cold in my studio, but now I'm warming up because this is fun to perform. I've got my Mount Graham <clears throat> Angry Red Squirrel. That's another long story. I put the guitar up. This is, there's a pattern to this. We're rehearsing here. Okay. Let me know if you have any more requests or things you want to say. Um, <clears throat> well, that's why. Okay, so we had uh, Mats from Sweden was watching, and Natalie from Dublin. And cows with guns. I, I remember that well. I, I miss coming to Ireland. That was some of my favorite tours. My friend Jim Page, who I, <clears throat> great songwriter from uh, <clears throat> Seattle and a close friend of mine. Jim has had hits in Ireland on Top 40, and he goes to Ireland very quite often. And I remember I was, cows with guns was doing, starting to do well in Ireland. I said, hey, Jim, uh, <clears throat> You know, how much how much money do you make when you go to Ireland? And he says, uh, well, he thinks about it. After about a month of shows, when I get home, if I have $200 in my pocket, I'll consider that a good tour. Then he says, you don't go to Ireland for the money. You go to Ireland because it's Ireland. It's, there's music everywhere. Most taxi drivers in Dublin are poet philosophers it's a magical place um, in Ireland in the United States I don't play at many bars because <clears throat> it's mostly background music and I really like a concert setting <clears throat> in Ireland some of the bars have listening rooms and you can go in there and the whole place can be on their sixth pint or more of Guinness you know the place is packed out it's really loud if you play the most delicate beginnings of a love song the place becomes silent instantaneously because because music is sacred in ireland and in particular in the listening rooms but i miss ireland as soon as this pandemic's over i'm coming back to ireland <clears throat> what else do i need to rehearse <clears throat>
got it. My grandpa was a cowboy and his pa before him. He rode the range, killed the buffalo, and fought the Indian. But the great herd's on the prairie, and the wild frontier is gone. So to carry on my heritage, I go out and ride the lawn. Ride the lawn, ride the lawn. Here on my quarter acre lot, I sing my freedom song. Ride the lawn, ride the lawn. Oh, oh. We'll hunt the dandelion down and whack him till he's gone. My neighbor is a slacker, and he rarely rides the lawn. He says that he likes wild flowers with dew on them at dawn. But the enemy travels quickly when the winds are strong. Next week while he's on vacation, his dandies will be gone. Ride the lawn, ride the lawn. Here on my quarter acre lot, I sing my freedom song. Ride the lawn, ride the lawn. Oh, oh. We'll hunt the dandelion down and whack him till he's gone. <laughs> the problem with suburbia is you cannot shoot your gun. So how does one kill herds of moles who eat grass just for fun? Well, I've loaded up my arsenal with shells and ammo cans and under cover of the fireworks, on July 4th, I'll make my stands. Ride the lawn, ride the lawn. Here on my quarter acre lot, I sing my freedom song, ride the lawn. Ride the lawn, oh, oh. We'll hunt the dandelion down and whack him till he's gone. My son came home from college and he criticized my lawn. He said fertilizers, herbicides, and pesticides are wrong. Well, I'll listen to your politics and your weirdo leftist songs. So when you're under my roof, don't you dare speak ill of lawns. Ride the lawn, ride the lawn. Here on my quarter acre lot, I sing my freedom song. Ride the lawn, ride the lawn. Oh, oh. We'll hunt the dandelion down and whack him till he's gone. Ooh, ride the lawn. Ooh, ride the lawn. That's another one of my songs called, you guessed it, Ride the Lawn. <clears throat> it is Friday, June. 12th, I think. That was Ride the Lawn, and I am rehearsing, learning. This is a learning curve for me. I am learning how to do a concert live over the internet to you, and there's people from all over the world watching this. I don't know if there's a lot of people from all over the world, but they are from different places in the world. <laughs> so this is exciting. <laughs> Everything about this pandemic is a learning curve. It took me a month to figure out these microphones. Hopefully it sounds okay. When I listen back, I'll go, hopefully I won't be groaning. Uh, here in the Seattle area, Washington State, the uh, a Seattle chapter of Black Lives Matter has requested uh, an <clears throat> a uh, general strike today. And uh, it may not look like I'm on strike. I'm actually not working, I'm playing, bad pun. But actually, I did have a concert earlier today that was canceled in respect of that strike. 
uh, as uh, as uh, the United States and frankly many countries around the world grapple with uh, systemic racism, uh, how we look at the different amounts of privilege or lack of privilege we have based on the color of our skin. The uh, United States has a, a unique, sad, and ugly history of racism, and uh, I'm hopeful, hoping that uh, we may see some major changes. It, it feels very different to me here right now than it has uh, over the course of my lifetime uh, when police chiefs are coming out against the violence, when uh, <clears throat> Um, you know, mayors and corporations and everyone is involved in the discussion. Uh, I'm hopeful. Uh, <clears throat> I, if I wasn't a musician, I would have been a lawyer. I was lucky to try music first and be able to scratch out a living doing that. But to me, the way, uh, besides educating ourselves, <clears throat> we need to we need to pass laws. We need to pass laws which will hold. Uh, police accountable for crimes, just like all of us are accountable for crimes. And all good police officers, and I believe the vast majority of police officers are good, will agree that police officers who commit crimes should be held accountable. It's really quite simple, and we need to pass laws for that. And I think the vast majority of police officers will agree with that and support it. Um, what's the other thing? There's the is that, yeah, I'll think of the other thing. But anyway, that's that's a big one. It's fascinating. I love to watch all the different states and cities and the federal government, the Congress weighing out the different uh, <clears throat> different ideas for passing laws to make things better in our country. <clears throat> I love how the different sports, famous sports figures, are coming and step uh, speaking out about it. That sports figures in particular even i think even more than entertainers like myself even more than musicians uh, sports figures they carry a lot of weight because because everyone you know everyone dreams of being a, a sports star i think and everyone plays sports or almost everyone anyway i just appreciate what they're doing i'm gonna take a quick look at the thing here there's matt's <laughs> matt's from sweden see this is why i gotta just sing my shows earlier because sweden and uh and uh Ireland can watch. Here, I'll put this up on the channel. This is more chance for me to practice how to feature fascinating comments. There's Matt's. Hi, <laughs> Matt's. I see. He still has his going. That is from way back. I still have some of those. <laughs> Matter of fact, they're on sale. <laughs> now, the, the, uh, the t shirts are cheap. The postage is a fortune because I'm afraid to go in the post office. So I'm going to a nice package place where I pay them extra and they walk out and get my package and you get your t-shirt I get to live everybody's happy it's more expensive um you and and, and Matt's is requesting drop of water I would be happy to drop water and matter of fact that is another one I have to rehearse for Sunday show <clears throat> again I am rehearsing this is a live concert this is a live rehearsal I was going to rehearse and I thought why don't I just broadcast the rehearsal I'm rehearsing for my show on Sunday June 14th at 4 p.m. Seattle time, I guess in Sweden and Dublin, that might be midnight on the next day, but you'll figure it out. 4 p.m. Saturday, June 14th for Orca Month, as we're working here in the Salish Sea region, British Columbia, Washington, Oregon, to save our resident orcas. We're down to 72 of them. It's really frightening, but, but what's exciting is our whole region is rallying, including our the two governors, Washington and Oregon, and the premier in British Columbia, uh, really working hard. I appreciate that. Okay, there's Matt. So what's that? <clears throat> Rick, I came to your school in Salem, Oregon. <laughs> I just played Ride the Lawn, Rick. I wonder if you were watching when I played that. I think I know. Was that when Jane Goodall was there? I, th I think I, I think that's when I was at Salem last, 2005. I'm pretty sure. I've had the honor of uh, being friends with J Jane Goodall and doing quite a number of shows with her Roots and Shoots youth program. And I bet, I bet I came to Rick's school in Salem, Oregon, around Roots and Shoots. So I think that was last time in Salem. It's kind of ridiculous. It's 15 years ago. I need to come to Salem. <clears throat> I don't know where you are now, Rick, but that's cool. Oh, there's there's Matt's and 
Martin Ross. Thank you, Martin. Love to you too. How's everybody doing out there? Are we all? I think we're all under house arrest except for Matt's <laughs> in Sweden. Sweden, they're out. They're doing whatever they want. They're doing the uh, the herd herd immunity or whatever it is theory. We'll see how that works. Every country, every state in the United States, we're all doing different experiments. It's kind of a scary experiment, but it's it's definitely fascinating. Definitely fascinating. Okay. And Galen used to mow my lawn. That is true. <laughs> Hi, Galen. Good to see you out in internet land. <clears throat> I think I, I know you've actually mowed my lawn because Galen mows my neighbor's Ted and Bobby's lawn, or she used to. <laughs> and now, uh, and one of those times I know that she mowed my lawn, <clears throat> and it used to be when I was on tour, uh, my father would mow my lawn. And when I was gone for a really long time, he'd mow the lawn, he would weed. And when I was gone long enough, my place would look so nice that my friends would think I had moved. Like, Dana's place looked great. Did he sell it? <laughs> so Galen might have been part of that reason. And uh, and now uh, my father isn't strong enough to mow my lawn, but he is coming over to work on my garden where my father and my brother and I were a uh, uh, <clears throat> COVID-19 bubble. We hang out. So this is the one place my father can come safely. He wants to go out in public. It's tough for Zach and I to keep him from not going into public, but so far he hasn't. But he comes over here and he's rebuilding all the beds in my garden and whatever he wants to do. You know, so my lawn might be a paved parking lot before I know it. <clears throat> he's, he's the boss. I am getting ready to... Oh yeah, there's uh, from Rick. Yes, so that was when Jane Goodall was there. Very cool, very cool. One of the interesting things about this pandemic thing is because some of us can't, some of, so many of us can't travel. Some of us are homebound. On Jane Goodall's birthday, I, I wrote her an email wishing her a happy birthday. And I never expected to hear back. I, I don't hear back from Jane because she's so busy. And I got an email right back because she was under house arrest too. This was in April. <clears throat> and I got to sing her a couple songs for her birthday. That was very sweet, but that's really cool. Rick, glad you're here. <laughs> yes, I'm glad. Yeah, yeah, my lawn. Usually I am on tour this time of year, May and June. And when I come back, my lawn is four feet high. And this is actually the first growing season in my entire adult life where I've been in one place for this long. And it's quite beautiful. I mean, I miss traveling. I miss touring a lot. But it's amazing to be in one spot and watch the leaves unfurl and the flowers come and go of spring and the lawn. Oh, my God, it grows and grows and grows and grows. I mean, to, to keep it under control, I'm cutting it about every three days. I have new one of those cool electric lawnmowers. Love it. Doesn't smell. I could do ads for those lawnmowers. But, uh, yeah, I understand now why the lawn gets to be four feet high when I'm gone this time of the year. Okay, where are we? Okay, so now Okay. I'm gonna perform drop of water <clears throat> for for Mats there in Sweden and hoping uh, that you and your family are healthy and staying well. And uh this song this song has many stories with it. And I'm actually going to do a series of shows just telling the stories of this song and other songs. But I'll say that uh, this song is based on meeting Milton Born with a Tooth. Uh, Milton, uh, he's no longer with us. He passed away a couple years ago. And he's a Blackfoot warrior, Blackfoot Indians from Southern Alberta, the Pigan Nation. <clears throat> and Milton is, f is famous in Canada for driving a, a bulldozer through a dam, uh, an earthen dam. And when I heard that story, I was on tour with 
John Seed and Hart Phoenix and other friends, the Tour of the Damned. We were those back in 1991. We were fighting to stop a whole series of dams in Quebec and Ontario on Cree Indian land. But when we played Ontario, I heard the story of this guy, Milton Bourne with the tooth, who had driven a bulldozer through a dam. And I thought, I got to meet this guy. So as soon as I got home, I got in my van. My friend uh, Craig Evarts and I drove to uh, Alberta, and we hunted for Milton, and we found him. And he, he and friends told me the story, and this song eventually came out of it. And in multiple shows to come, I'm going to tell the full story of Drop of Water. <clears throat> There's a drop of water on the wall And the drop's about to fall And it falls into a trickle And the trickle's flowing down Down, down to the ground And the moss begins to grow Watch, 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 watch the water flow And watch the current become a stream Busting through the seams, cracking through the concrete, bending down the steel in a raging that is real, a tearing torrent you can feel. Feel the thunder growing, thunder underground, and in my heart the chains falling apart, the wildness in my soul, and for once in life, for once in life. I know I'm not alone For the mountains make our bones With the oceans in our blood Our feet planted, planted firmly in the mud We are alive, the burning embers in our eyes The tingling touch upon our skin And in the heat of passion we begin to understand That we are of this land that we are part of earth and when she's threatened we will fight for all we're worth we watch the dam the dam come crashing down water rushing to the sea and now the river now the river now the river now is free into a trickle and the trickles flowing down 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 to the ground and the moss begins to grow watch 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 the water flow and watch the currents a become a stream a busting through the seams a cracking through the concrete a bending down the steel in a raging that is real a tearing a torrent you can feel feel the thunder growing the thunder underground and in my heart the chains falling apart water rushing to the sea and now the river now the river now the river now is free
haven't played that song for a long time. Thank you for requesting it, Mats. A lot of memories with that song. Uh, my name is Dana Lyons. I'm broadcasting live on Facebook and YouTube. Um, rehearsing. I'm learning how to do online concerts. I have a concert in two days on Sunday, June 14th, 4 p.m. Seattle time with Orca Month. To uh, It's a whole month. June is the whole month dedicated to educating and trying to protect the orcas here in the Salish Sea area in Washington State, British Columbia, and Oregon. Uh, if you want to watch it live, um, <clears throat> it's only going to be live on my music Facebook music page, not my personal page. Uh, that's because I can only broadcast to five different places at once. And it's going out to a number of Orca groups and my Facebook music page. So if you're watching this now on, on my Facebook uh, personal page, you might want to go you know, sign up on, just search for Dana Lyons Music. That's where this is going to be live. Or you can see it later after the fact, excuse me, on on the Facebook pages or YouTube. Okay, let's see if anything, any other statements here. Okay, very cool. Okay, well, this has been fun. That's, I've been going for about uh, 47 minutes. That's supposed to be the length of my show on Sunday. So I think I'm going to wrap it up here because I got to go back and watch this thing. I got I, I noticed my meter over there on my focus right thing was turning red sometimes. That means I'm pegging the meter. So I got to go see if I got to sing quieter on the mic, back it off, all these technical things to learn. Uh, but uh, thank you for those of you who tuned in and thank you to those of you who are watching this in the archive version. Uh, once again, I am Dana Lyons and broadcasting to you uh, <clears throat> in quarantine from Bellingham, Washington in the United States, just south of the Canadian border, which we cannot cross. <laughs> Smart Canadians keeping us out of there. Um, my Facebook page, my, mu my Facebook music page, just search Dana Lyons music. It's Facebook slash Dana Lyons, I think. Uh, that's, uh, you can like that and follow that if you want to see these things live in the future. My YouTube channel is Cows with Guns Guy. You can subscribe to that and hit the little bell if you like, if you want to know when I'm putting a new video up there or doing this live there. If you want to be on my email list, I'll be sending out emails saying, hey, Dana's singing online. Uh, you can sign up at my website, cowswithguns.com. Um, you can also send me a note through Facebook, even though I don't look at Facebook notes very often. <clears throat> Once again, I'll take one last look, see if we got anything else up there. No? Okay. Thank you, everybody. Ooh, the rain might be slowing down. No, no, there it is. No, it's still raining. Hopefully get out. Hoping to get out for a walk. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay as sane as you can. I know it's been challenging for me. I can bet it's been challenging for you at times. The fascinating thing about this era is we're all going through it together. It's remarkable. It's remarkable. Uh, one of my friends said, Maybe this will force us to learn how to actually share an experience together, everyone on the planet. And maybe through that experience, maybe that'll help us to understand and do something to help create a uh, truly sustainable culture, a culture that respects and honors Mother Nature and respects and honors all people and takes care of all people. Because we gotta, we gotta make it through this. Oh, I see someone said something on there. Before I wrap up here, I'll see those are comments. There are comments on my Facebook. Person. Okay, cool.
Okay. For some reason, those aren't showing up here, but I will go look. Thank you for letting me know that, Matthew. Alice Dimaselli. That's on my Facebook stream. Please play Turn to the Wrench. <laughs> I wonder why I'm not getting those here. That's all. I will, I will investigate. That's why I'm doing a rehearsal. That is why I'm doing a rehearsal, because I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Stick me in front of a mic at a bar. I kind of know what I'm doing. Yeah, play this, man. Okay. Rock and roll. Lord, I was born a rambling man. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere. I can do that. I can do that. I know how to stand in front of a bunch of people. I know I know when I've blown it in front of a bunch of people. Alice DiMaselli, who's just asked for Turn of the Wrench, and I am going to play Turn of the Wrench for Alice if she's still watching. Well, I don't, I don't have no idea if she's watching. I'm going to play it for you, Alice, whether you're watching or not. I miss you, Alice. It's so just nice to hear your, see your name on my screen. But yeah, it is. <clears throat> for us performers, I mean, lots of people are out of work. It's hard. It's hard across the board. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are, your hours are cut back, it's rough. <clears throat> it's really bizarre as a performer. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's hard to have a lot of sympathy for people who <laughs> play guitar <laughs> for a living. <clears throat> but what's weird is, like I, I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm singing and talking to you, and in a crowd, you know, you can gauge your approval or disapproval very quickly. <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> if things are being thrown at you, there's an issue. All right. So true, in the safety of my studio, odds are pretty low that someone's going to throw something at me. But I also, I can't hear the adoring throngs cheering wildly. <sighs> thank you. Thank you. We love you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. So <laughs> it is a little weird to be trapped in here singing into our little screens. But that is the way it is. Oh, a double request. See, oh, I'm learning this. Look, at I'm studying. Hal has requested Turn of the Wrench also. And Matthew is telling me that Alice is requesting Turn of the Wrench. And Matthew also pointed out that there are comments on my personal Facebook stream too. FYI. Now, this raises the question, why can't I see them here on this? But I will contact the team that handles my multi-hosting. I'm sure they'll have some logical answer matter of fact it was probably in the instructions which i neglected to read but but this is exciting because this way i can say hey if you see any requests there on the whatchamacallit facebook page please put them over here because i can't see them i can see things from facebook but evidently some of them i can't hurrah 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 okay hear this <sighs> thank you huh? thank you Okay, okay. Calm down, please. Thank you. Okay. We're getting to turn the wrench. Wait, please, please. Thank you. Okay. Oh, 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 you're too wonderful. I love it. Okay. Wait, here's for Alice. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. If you don't know Alice D. Michelle, she is brilliant, brilliant uh, singer songwriter, old friend. If I'm remembering this story correct, Alice, you, you can correct me on the other page, which I can't see if I'm wrong. But when we met, I think Alice and I are about the same age, and we met when we were like 27. <clears throat> and I was playing down in Ashland, Oregon. And we were playing in this tiny coffee house. And I think there were like 15 people in the crowd, which was a big crowd for me. I don't know about you, Alice, but at that point, I was psyched. Um, and we were, we were trading songs. It was really fun. And Alice plays RV. And I said, Alice, that's thanks so much for playing RV. And she goes, yeah, yeah, isn't that a great song? I'm like, yeah. I, I, and I realized that she didn't know that I'd written. I said, Alice, do you know who wrote that? No. <laughs> I was so honored because the highest compliment that you can get as a songwriter is when someone plays, someone else learns your song and performs it, and they don't know who the writer is. And you think about that, you know, yeah, it's, nice to have accolades and say, oh, that's my Daniel Lawrence. And, but when you think about it, if someone's playing a song and they don't even know who wrote it, then it, you're, you're starting to get towards folk song status where the writer is really irrelevant. And that's, I think that's the dream for all songwriters. It's just your song gets so far out there that it's no longer anything about you. It's just out there. <clears throat> so now, 
that was a very long introduction to closing the concert, <clears throat> which I'm not closing because I'm playing Turn the Wrench for Alice and Hal. <clears throat> Benson was a farmer, he grew the Minnesota wheat, he rode there with his daughter, high up on the thresher's seat, they broke down on the hillside, the radiator spitting steam, went back to get the toolbox, so they could fix the old machine. With a turn of the wrench And a twist of the screw We can fix the tractor We can make it like new But that day they got a letter It said the power lines would come Right across their farmland Right across the setting sun so they gathered all the family And talked late into the night We cannot let them do this We've got to put up one hell of a fight With a turn of the wrench And a twist of the screw We'll, we'll apply a little pressure And we'll see what that will do so they phoned a hundred farmers And drove to the Twin Cities Met there with the governor And they sued the utility But after writing all the letters And paying all the legal costs To the power of the city Once again the farmers lost and in the still of the evening, the wind is all you hear. I watch the waves on the wheat fields alone. I walk the furrows of earth I plant year after year. Uh, this is our land, this is our home. This is our land, this is our home So they met there at the tavern But there wasn't much to say The power lines may come But they will not stay With a turn of the wrench and a twist of the screw What was once put together We can easily undo With bandanas on their faces Careful not to make a sound They loosened all the bolts That held the towers to the ground And several weeks later with nobody around The Minnesota wind A blue tower after tower after tower Down with a turn of the wrench And a twist of the screw What was once put together We can easily undo With a turn of the wrench And a twist of the screw what was once put together We can easily undo And in the still of the evening The wind is all you hear I watch the waves on the wheat fields alone I walk the furrows of earth I plant year after year this is our land, this is our home 
This is our land, this is our home. This is our land, this is our home. This is our land, this is our home. Thank you, Hal and Alice, for requesting that song. I have not played that song in a really long time, not since the beginning of the pandemic. Uh, today is the day I'm supposed to be flying. I would have been flying home from a six-week tour in Australia, um, which was canceled due to the pandemic. <clears throat> and as performers all over the world, all performances, live performances, are canceled <clears throat> due to the pandemic. And so that is why I am practicing. I used to joke with... Bill Oliver used to, of Austin, Texas, used to tell this joke, why practice when you can play, when you can perform? <laughs> but I haven't been performing, so I gotta practice, which is why I'm on here right now. And this is actually, this, con this, is, a, this is a live concert. Your eyes are not deceiving you. But this is a rehearsal for a live concert I'm doing, an official live concert I'm doing with Orca Month in two days on Sunday, June 14th for Orca Month and we're raising awareness to protect our resident orcas here in the Salish Sea, British Columbia, Washington, and Oregon. So I'm practicing to see what it's like to click on people's things, to read. There it is. There's why. Okay, okay, I'm learning here. Comments on the other stream are asking where your virtual tip jar is or your PayPal address. <laughs> Good questions. <laughs> Inquiring minds. Do you need a job as a manager, Matthew? <laughs> that's why. That's why I see you Sunday. Excellent. Thank you, Hal. <laughs> um, that's why I'm doing this rehearsal because I have to figure this out. You know, this is a free concert. The uh, concert on Sunday is sponsored by Orca Month. It's also free. <clears throat> uh, to answer your question, uh, uh, Matthew, I I haven't figured it out yet. <clears throat> it's it that requires thinking that, that requires effort that requires <laughs> figuring it out and I just haven't quite had the energy for it um, I'm trying to figure out how to create a patreon site that's a ways away I need to figure out the tip jar but I'm, I'm glad people are asking one of these days I will figure that out and uh, if people want to help out that's great but for now but until I figure it out <laughs> it's free <laughs> I, I know how to spell free. I'm not sure how to spell tip jar on the internet yet. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> uh, once again, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for your comments and helping me learn uh, how I can get educated, how to do this properly, how to figure out the tip jar. I'm going to go in and see if I've blasted out the microphone, see how the lighting looks, how to use this. i got to figure out how to put my applause signs up there. But once again, this Sunday, there's, there's actually two Orca Month concerts, both Sundays in two days, June 14th at 4 p.m. Seattle time. June 28th, again, 4 p.m. Seattle time. Uh, my friend Rain with Orca Month will be there to tell a little bit about the Orcas. I'll be singing some songs. We'll take it from there. And create a Venmo account. That's a word I've heard too. Thank you, Martin. I've heard of that word. Several people have said, dude, where's your Venmo account, man? Venmo, man. Just do it, man. It's not that hard. A 12-year-old can do it. Well, 12-year-olds are smarter than some of us in technological. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I need to do it. Applause. There it is. <sighs> Thank you, Sue. <sighs> the crowd's going well. <sighs> There's a lot of entertainers do a lot of make-believe in their heads. I think we all know that. But especially when we're in our rooms, we got We have to fantasize. Oh, my God. 50,000 people. <sighs> so many time zones. Thank you. Thank you. Buy Dana's T-shirts. He's had in storage for 20 years. No, 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 wait a minute. No, wait a minute. We, we, I will ask people to limit the amount of honesty <laughs> you share. That is so funny, Matt. Buy Dana's t-shirts. He's had storage for 20 years. I put one of those t-shirts on yesterday. 
and it looked terrific. 20 years later, we have uh, temperature control. You've heard of the Smithsonian, the way they keep ancient documents. Our t-shirts, oh my God, oh my God, I can't. <clears throat> As one leader said, uh, they're the greatest. They're stable geniuses. My t-shirts are stable geniuses. <clears throat> Whoop. <sighs> Thank you. There goes the applause. Uh, now, that's an even better idea. I don't even have to create an applause sign. I can kind of do a not so subtle. Hey, can somebody write applause on the thing so I can put that up there and then just get everybody clapping in their kitchens or their dining rooms or their bedrooms or... <clears throat> out on the patio, wherever we are, under house arrest, 2020, trying to stay healthy. I even, I even wrote a song right at the beginning of the pandemic, which I have to release, which I'm told I should release. I've been a little shy about it, but maybe I'll get brave with that. But anyway, the applause, the old t-shirts, thank you, and we will see you next time. Good night.